Hello Galaxy of Heroes, uh, this is uh, Geonosian Territory Battle Phase 1, I know we've just moved into Phase 2 but I realised that I hadn't actually uploaded this yet, um, so just running through, basically um, everyone except for Magna Guard has a Zeta, Zeta, which, whichever, I did the Newt Zeta after getting my ass kicked in Gak and it was like, oh wow, so uh yeah threw that on and oh my uh, yeah that is certainly a game changer to quote my girls um quoting a tv show can't remember what one it is but nevertheless quoted it is uh i've done this on double speed just to whiz through these and even whizzing through these it's still going to be drawn out um kind of death by a thousand cuts or almost but if you can that that newt zeta definitely i mean well definitely I, to me it just seemed to really change stuff um sorry just going through um out of all of them i believe my b1 is gear 13 finished whatever everyone else is gear 12 um, and then there's a, a mixture of where they are on gear 12 uh, for example i don't think newt has any of the gear 12 plus pieces as yet but coming back to it that zeta really does really does uh make a difference um also if you can the, the the b1 zeta i mean b1 i was discussing with ranger on rsg about it that the b1 really has i mean i know that grievous is is the the real kind of excitement and uh the fantastic shiny but <clears throat> b1 just just makes the droids or the separatists should we say uh, a far more resilient squad purely based on the fact that you get heal and protection um heal and protection back so and there's no real penalty for it so what you'll see is that because grievous is not in this squad um squinting to see that my b1's up to 172 stacks at the moment yeah that's just going to increase uh, basically if you put grievous in here it will decrease and you probably won't make it into round four with b1 which uh really is gonna hamper your chances of succeeding so uh yeah you're better off not running grievous in this squad uh it's too late for this time round of course because we're already into phase two and i'm rushing to get this uploaded before i go in and try whatever the special mission is today which uh I remember I I think today is what day uh, going for the what shards uh, we will see uh, I will see later on and whatever it is I will record it and I will upload it and um, yeah yeah so let's just keep going uh, well, keep going this is pre-recorded this is a voiceover of yeah so but oh actually sorry i didn't realize we're already into phase four just going through uh i've kind of changed my strats somewhat i'm not i'm not so bothered at the moment with the medic uh the medic does revive yes acknowledged he does revive them he revives them at yellow though they're not fully full health revives so I'd rather put down the damage dealers and then just go back and hit them again and then take care of the medic instead of targeting the medic first and foremost because he doesn't do a snappity snap. This is where I thought, you know what, I might just clear this. And uh, da da, there we go. So there's the special mission for the day. Tick. Uh, the other one is the one that requires a minimum of four bugs so here's the fifth uh i have it's uploaded already i did my 
Aegean Ocean TB preparation. So I've now taken Sunfac and Aegean Ocean Spy to gear 13 along with Brood and Aegean Ocean Soldier. So basically the only one that's not getting the love is Poggle. Um, this one is with the Poggle lead, of course. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is if they've got buffs, um, if I'm calling an assist, I'll try and call in Poggle with the assist because he hits harder when they've got debuffs. Um, yeah, debuffs, not buffs, sorry. Let's get the correct language here. But yeah, day one. Um, it's kind of misleading. Well, it's not misleading. I mean, you know, it's like, it gets harder the deeper you go. So that's a giggity statement if ever I heard one. But um, yeah, uh, what I'm doing is uh, my strat on these is to target the clones and then go in. <sighs> Geo Spy, did you see that? I am loving how hard Geo Spy can hit really am which is part of the reason why so basically what i did i think one of the first gear 12 pieces that went onto my sky sky went on to my geo spy was the finishing piece and then i i was able to slowly accumulate the other pieces and then do the yeah complete to gear 13 but uh yeah i mean we're through into three or four here uh, going well, Clone Sarge, yeah, Clone Sarge, AOE, AOE clones you want down as soon as possible because they really are going to hurt you if you leave them to stand too long. So what we've got here, Trooper, Medic, Clone Sarge, Captain, we've got, I think we had a couple of Clone Sarges. I opted to pick on one to start. Um, didn't bother with the special there, it didn't feel like I needed to. And they're going to start doing horrible stuff. Um, and there will be revives I'm aware of that but uh yeah so that clone sarge got healed up somewhat because I had him down to yellow and then he got brought back to green and I've got the ability block on the clone on the far left there next to uh, he's no longer ability blocked medics now revived the clone sarge in the back so yeah look i mean you know he's revived at yellow so it's not too God, geo spy i am liking this geo spy i really am so uh yeah here we go we're, we're almost there we've got medic and sharpshooter left no we don't it's all done we've posted the victory so that's two out of two yippee ki -yay. Thank you for watching.